Welcome to Celeb Memorial TV. Join us as we honor and remember the lives of famous personalities who have touched our hearts. Stay updated with the latest news, tributes, and stories about the stars we've lost. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's pay tribute to the legacies of these unforgettable icons. Fat Man Scoop, the legendary rapper best known for his 1999 hit Be Faithful, passed away at the age of 53 after collapsing on stage during a concert in Connecticut. Born Isaac Freeman III, Fat Man Scoop was a larger-than-life figure in the music industry, celebrated for his unmistakable voice, infectious energy, and ability to get any crowd moving. Scoop's meteoric rise began with the release of Be Faithful, which quickly became an anthem in clubs worldwide. The song's 2003 re-release topped the charts in the UK and Ireland cementing his status as the undisputed voice of the club scene. His collaborations with some of music's biggest names, including Mariah Carey's It's Like That and Missy Elliott's Grammy-winning Lose Control, further showcased his unique ability to bring energy and charisma to any track. Beyond his music, Fat Man Scoop was known for his joyful spirit and his generosity. He brought a sense of positivity wherever he went, lighting up rooms and stages alike with his larger-than-life personality. His talent agency, MN2S, described him as a beloved figure in the music world, whose work was loved by countless fans across the globe. His family echoed this sentiment, calling him a beacon of light on the stage and in life, and remembering him as a constant source of support, courage, and laughter. Scoop's impact on hip-hop and club culture is immeasurable, he had a unique gift for uniting people through music, making them dance, celebrate, and embrace the joy of life. His voice became synonymous with celebration, and his legacy as the ultimate hype man will continue to inspire future generations of artists. Fat Man Scoop was not just an entertainer. He was a force of nature who made every moment feel like a party. Though his time was cut short, his vibrant spirit and the joy he brought to millions will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Fat Man Scoop. Your music will continue to make the world dance. Andrea Faye Friedman, an inspiring actress and advocate, passed away at the age of 53 due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Andrea's life and career were defined by her talent, humor, and determination, breaking barriers as an actress with Down syndrome. Born in 1970 in Santa Monica, California, Andrea graduated from West Los Angeles Baptist High School and Santa Monica College. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Amanda, Corky Thatcher's girlfriend and later wife on the beloved TV show Life Goes On, which told stories that resonated with many and highlighted the experiences of people with disabilities. She also appeared in shows like Baywatch, Law & Order, SVU, and Walker, Texas Ranger, showcasing her range and dedication to her craft. In 1997, Andrea starred in the film Smudge as Cindy, a young woman living in a group home who tries to hide her puppy, Smudge. The film's heartfelt story won the 1998 Humanitas Prize, highlighting Andrea's ability to bring warmth and depth to her roles. She also lent her voice to Ellen, a character with Down syndrome, in the Family Guy episode Extra Large Medium, displaying her humor and resilience in the face of controversy. Beyond her acting, Andrea was known for her remarkable spirit and advocacy for living a full, independent life. She worked for 20 years in the accounting department of a law firm and as an assistant teacher at UCLA's Pathway program, where she inspired students to pursue independence. Andrea's joy for life extended beyond her career. She traveled the world, exploring countries like India and Japan and enjoyed activities such as bowling and skiing. Her life was celebrated in the 2009 documentary A Possible Dream, the Andrea Friedman story, narrated by Joanne Woodward, which captured Andrea's journey and her impact on those around her. Andrea's legacy as a trailblazer, role model, and advocate for people with disabilities continues to inspire. She showed the world that having a disability doesn't define one's abilities, and her remarkable spirit will be remembered by all who knew and admired her. Phil Jones, the veteran CBS News correspondent known for his coverage of some of the most pivotal moments in American history, passed away at the age of 87 in Florida. 
Jones's career spanned decades and included reporting on landmark events such as the Vietnam War, Watergate, and the impeachment of President Bill Clinton. Jones began his journalism journey at a local Indiana TV station before moving to WCCO-TV in Minneapolis, where he distinguished himself as one of the first local reporters to cover the Vietnam War in 1965. His commitment to reporting on the front lines earned him recognition and respect, leading him to join CBS News in 1969. During his time at CBS, Jones was part of the team famously known as Cronkite's Kids, working closely with legendary news anchor Walter Cronkite. He was on the White House lawn when President Richard Nixon resigned and departed on Marine One, and he covered the subsequent Ford administration with an intimate lens, often spending more time with President Ford than with his own family during those historic months. Jones became a familiar face on the CBS Evening News and later served as a correspondent for 48 hours, where his coverage included high-profile stories like the Iran-Contra scandal and an interview with Washington, D.C., Mayor Marion Barry during his drug use investigation. His work on Capitol Hill showcased his ability to navigate the complex world of politics, bringing viewers insightful and detailed reports from the heart of Washington. His colleagues fondly remember Jones not only for his journalistic skills, but also for his sense of humor and dedication to the craft. CBS News' Susan Zarinsky praised him for his incredible range of stories, saying he did it all and made them better journalists. Phil Jones' passion for journalism was ignited in his youth on an Indiana farm, where he dreamed of becoming a broadcaster. He fulfilled that dream, leaving an indelible mark on the world of news and earning a place among the most respected correspondents of his time. Jones is survived by his children, Paul and Pam, who carry forward his legacy of curiosity, dedication, and a love for storytelling. Roger Cook, the beloved garden and landscape contractor from PBS's This Old House, passed away on August 21st at the age of 70 following an extended illness. For over three decades, Roger's expertise, warmth, and passion for landscaping made him a cherished figure in homes across America. Born in 1954 in Biddeford, Maine, Roger grew up in Massachusetts and showed a passion for the outdoors from an early age. He pursued his love of nature by earning a Bachelor of Science in Wildlife Management and Conservation Law from the University of Maine in 1977. His career began in landscaping, and in 1982, he and his late wife, Kathleen, founded K&R Tree and Landscape Company. That same year, Roger made his first appearance on this old house, beginning a long and influential journey with the show. In 1988, Roger officially joined this old house as the garden and landscape contractor, bringing his expertise to viewers and transforming countless outdoor spaces with his innovative designs. His practical advice and genuine enthusiasm for his work made complex projects seem accessible, inspiring a generation of homeowners to take on their own landscaping challenges. Roger's commitment extended beyond the screen. He also served on the editorial board of This Old House magazine and contributed to landscaping publications, sharing his knowledge with an even wider audience. Roger's passion for his craft was matched by his dedication to professional organizations. He was an active member of the Massachusetts Arborist Association and served as president of the New England Grows and the Association of Landscape Contractors of Massachusetts. In 2018, Roger reduced his role on the show due to health issues. And in 2020, he stepped down completely, leaving behind a legacy of inspiration and education. Known for his kindness, sense of humor, and deep love for nature, Roger Cook will be remembered not only for his contributions to the world of landscaping, but also for the joy he brought to viewers who felt like they were learning from a friend. Roger is survived by his two children, who along with countless fans, will continue to honor his legacy of hard work, dedication, and love for the outdoors. Catherine Ribeiro, the iconic French singer and avant-garde artist, passed away at the age of 82 on August 23rd. Catherine's powerful voice, bold spirit, and experimental approach to music made her a trailblazer in the world of folk and avant-garde performance, earning her a devoted cult following over the decades. Born in France, Ribeiro began her musical journey in the late 1960s, 
captivating audiences with her unique sound and uncompromising artistry. As the front woman of the band Catherine Ribeiro plus Alpez, she released several groundbreaking albums, including Catherine Ribeiro and Two B.I.'s, Number Two, and the critically acclaimed Pear. These works showcased her fearless blending of folk, rock, and experimental sounds, pushing the boundaries of music and touching on themes of love, protest, and existentialism. Ribeiro's music was not just about sound. It was a powerful expression of emotion and social commentary. Her raw, impassioned performances resonated with those who felt disconnected from the mainstream, and her poetic lyrics spoke to the human condition in ways that were both profound and deeply personal. She continued to explore her artistic vision in her solo career from the late 1970s onward, further cementing her status as a true original in the French music scene. Throughout her career, Catherine Ribeiro influenced countless artists, including musicians like Kim Gordon and Julian Cope, who admired her courage to defy musical conventions. Her work also touched the minds of intellectuals such as French mathematician Cédric Villani, highlighting the broad and lasting impact of her art. Beyond her contributions to music, Ribeiro was known for her fierce independence, resilience, and unwavering commitment to her creative truth. She leaves behind a legacy of innovation, passion, and a catalog of music that continues to inspire and challenge listeners. Catherine Ribeiro's passing marks the end of an era, but her voice will forever echo in the hearts of those who found solace and inspiration in her songs. Her spirit of artistic freedom and defiance of norms will be remembered as a beacon for future generations of musicians and fans alike. Greg Keane, the charismatic frontman of the Greg Keane Band, celebrated radio personality and accomplished novelist, passed away on August 13th at the age of 75 due to complications of Alzheimer's disease. Known for his infectious energy and undeniable talent, Keane left a lasting legacy in the music and literary worlds. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, Greg Keane's passion for music was sparked by the Beatles' iconic appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. This early inspiration led him to pursue a career in rock and roll, moving to San Francisco in 1974 and eventually founding the Greg Keane Band. With a series of catchy, rock-infused hits, Keane captivated audiences throughout the 1980s. His songs The Breakup Song and Jeopardy became anthems of the era, with the latter reaching number one, two on the Billboard Hot 100, and gaining even more fame through its popular MTV music video. Keane's impact extended beyond his music. He transitioned into a successful career as a morning radio DJ in the Bay Area, where his voice became a staple for listeners. Simultaneously, he pursued his passion for writing, penning several horror novels that showcased his storytelling prowess, including his Bram Stoker Award-nominated debut, Horror Show. Keane's literary talents added another layer to his multifaceted career, earning him respect in the literary community. Throughout his career, Keane's enthusiasm for rock and roll never waned. He continued to perform live, with his son Rai Ken joining him on stage, proving that his love for music was a family affair. His contributions were recognized when he was inducted into the San Jose Rocks Hall of Fame in 2007. Greg Keane's influence on rock music, radio, and literature will not be forgotten. He was a true pioneer, blending creativity, humor, and passion in all his endeavors. Keane is survived by his children, Ryan and Lexi, who carry on his legacy of creativity and love for the arts. The world will always remember Greg Keane for his catchy tunes, engaging storytelling, and the joy he brought to his fans. John Aprea, beloved actor known for his memorable roles in film and television, passed away on August 5th at the age of 83 from natural causes. Aprea's remarkable career spanned several decades, during which he brought depth and charisma to a variety of roles that left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Aprea's career took off when he was cast as young Salvatore Tessio in The Godfather Part II a role that connected him to one of the most iconic films in cinematic history. He continued to captivate audiences with his performances in shows like Matt Houston, Falcon Crest, and Knott's Landing. Many will also remember him fondly as Nick Katsopoulos 
the charming father of Uncle Jesse on Full House and its revival, Fuller House. His versatility was showcased through roles that ranged from soap operas like Another World to action-packed films like New Jack City and The Manchurian Candidate. Born in Englewood, New Jersey, Apria grew up in a tight-knit Italian family where he developed a love for storytelling and performing. His journey from a shy young man to a celebrated actor was fueled by his dedication and passion for the craft. Encouraged by his sister and guided by mentors, Apria honed his skills, ultimately moving to Los Angeles, where he pursued his dream with perseverance and resilience. Beyond his screen roles, Apria's presence was felt in every room he entered bringing warmth and authenticity to each of his characters. His work extended from the gritty streets of New Jack City to the family dynamics of Full House, proving his ability to connect with audiences across genres. John Aprea's legacy is one of talent, hard work, and a genuine love for the art of acting. He leaves behind a rich body of work that will continue to inspire future generations of actors. Aprea is survived by his wife Betsy Gracie, his daughter, and a world of fans who will remember him not just for the roles he played, but for the spirit he brought to each of them. His contributions to film and television will forever be cherished. Breaking news. News 1. Comedy icon Carol Burnett, nearing her 91st birthday, is feeling grateful for her continued ability to work and enjoy life. At the Los Angeles premiere of the Apple TV Plus series Palm Royale on Thursday, Burnett shared her excitement for the new show and her hopes for the future. Well, I hope there's a second season, you know. Then that'll keep me working, which I like, she told Extra TV. As long as I have fun, that's what I want. The beloved entertainer humorously acknowledged her good health, stating, I have my hips and my knees, and I think my brain, adding, so as long as I can keep that up and work, then I want to work. Reflecting on her milestone 90th birthday last year, Burnett expressed amazement at her age, feeling much younger at heart. I still feel like I'm about 11, but I'm amazed. It sure went fast. But I'm glad because I've got all my parts. Got my hips, I got my knees, and I've got my brain, so I'm happy about that, she shared. Burnett hopes her legacy will be one of joy and laughter, recalling fan mail that highlighted how her show brought families together. Many say it was the only time the family would get together to watch and laugh. That's a good feeling, she said. As she looks forward to her 91st birthday, Burnett remains a testament to the power of resilience and humor, continuing to inspire fans of all ages. News 2. Lindsay Hubbard, beloved cast member of Summer House, surprised fans this 4th of July with joyous news. She is expecting her first child. The announcement, made via an Instagram post sponsored by ClearBlue, marks a new and exciting chapter in Hubbard's life. At 37, Hubbard is embracing motherhood alongside her new boyfriend, whose identity she has kept private. She revealed details about their blossoming relationship during the Summer House Season 8 reunion, describing her partner as a wonderful man, who reconnected with her after their initial relationship ended three and a half years ago. This happy news comes after a tumultuous year for Hubbard, who ended her engagement with fellow cast member Carl Radke last August. The couple, engaged since August 2022, had planned a wedding in Mexico for November 2023, which was later canceled. Despite the heartbreak, Hubbard focused on personal growth, launching a new business and selling her wedding dresses for charity. Hubbard's journey to motherhood has been deeply personal. She has openly discussed her experiences with fertility treatments and a previous miscarriage. Fans and friends have rallied around her, celebrating her resilience in this wonderful milestone as she embarks on her path to becoming a mother.